how many chances do you get to dress up crazy on a weekly basis and just beat people with foam swords? That's pretty unique and that's pretty awesome. What I do? Hey. <laughs> The sport's name is Belagarth. We are in the Tunanog realm. Uh, the organization of Belagarth is a West Coast based boffer sport. In our sport, sure we have people that put on face paint, we have people that dress up crazy, I mean look at me. But I'm discovering more about myself. When I go on the field, I'm not going as some half elf wizard or some warrior, I'm going as me, I'm going as Shuffle. I would put my hand on my head or look dead in a fanciful, awesome way. So hit me once again in the chest. Oh! <laughs> so as long as you look dead, that's good. This is only my second practice. Actually, I've been thinking about getting into something like this for a really long time, but I just, I never knew where it would be or something. So I just looked online one day and I found that it was at the University of Oregon. So I just came down here and checked it out. Like, I've always been fascinated with like medieval type weapons and, and fighting styles and stuff. And this is the only time in your life that you can actually like get out there and have that experience of fighting side by side with like shields and swords and stuff even though it's foam you if, if you use your imagination and make that hit seem like you know you got hit then it's it's a lot of fun it's, it lets you get out a lot of aggression and just it's fun and all the guys are really nice and really inviting so I could see this turning into a you know lifetime experience <laughs> Tyler? Tyler? I'm like, so wait, that made it through. <laughs> you feel tired, you feel sore, you frequently have bruises, but it's fun. I needed an outlet for that anger, and I also needed new people in my life. I needed a fresh group to be in, and I knew that this would be somewhere where I was accepted. Full contact, like nobody wants their nose broken by a you know, like, I mean, totally. The community is just full of great people. Uh, it's very welcoming. Um, you can find all sorts of things that you need, both in in and out of the community. It's it's an amazing stress relief. If it you it's hard to explain how how much stress relief it is to just get out there and be able to strike somebody who you know isn't going to be mad at you for hitting them all they're going to do is hit back and you have a chance to defend yourself against that hit after a long day of fighting it's just you get home and you take a shower and all of your stress goes down the drain it's all about if you're choosing to fight with both hands, one hand dominant or one hand defensive, you can fight like this yeah. and use your bottom. You know, a lot of people come into this sport to you know, get some stress out, but for me, I feel really happy that I'm part of a larger community and that I'm doing something that's provocative, that you know, gets people out there and doing things, and you know, I get to talk with awesome people all the time and sort of explain why I like this sport, and that's what makes me happy. In this community, you don't have to be a fighter to be part of the community, to be part of this family that we have. There it is. Sorry. Oh my god, that came so close to your face. Oh. It's okay, he just got forehead. Good. We all good? Yep. Line it up. <laughs> 